Population density is a quantity that describes how crowded a place is. We come up with this quantity by a fraction that compares how many people to how much area those people are in. For example, imagine a farm that is a square a half mile on each side, and there are eight people who live on this land. To find the population density of this land, first we need to calculate the area of the land. To calculate area of a square or a rectangle, we multiply the two dimensions, length times width. 0.5 times 0.5 equals 0.25, or half times half equals a quarter. These two dimensions were miles, so we've calculated area in square miles, 0.25 square miles. And we can find the population density now doing this fraction, how many people compared to this area of 0.25 square miles eight people per quarter square mile. Now we have population density, this fraction, and it is a rate because a rate is a comparison of two separate units. In this case, it's people per square mile. So we often like to take these rates and convert them into a unit rate. And most of the rates that we deal with day to day are unit rates, like miles per gallon or price per pound. Those are actually miles per one gallon, price per one pound. We find a unit rate by the same way that we would convert the fraction into a decimal, dividing. 8 divided by 0.25 equals 32. This is people per square mile. Just a quick check to make sure that we can write square miles as abbreviated square mile or mile with the exponent 2. These two mean the same thing. And this unit rate, 32, is really thought to be 32 people for every one square mile. There's our unit rate. The denominator is 1, and we just divide this fraction top to bottom, 8 divided by 0.25. We can go back to our diagram to illustrate how these two densities are the same. 8 people for every quarter square mile is equal to 32 people for every square mile. Here's our original farm, half mile on each side of a square to give the area of 0.25 square miles. When we extend this land to be one square mile, one mile on each side, we're now beginning to represent this fraction because we're looking at one square mile. The area is now four times bigger, but we're assuming the same amount of crowdedness. Since the area is four times as large, we have four areas with eight people in each, and a total of 32 people in this square mile. So we've changed the size of the land, but also changed how many people were there. But it gave an equivalent balance of total people per total area, whether we're looking at just eight people per a quarter square mile, or how many people, 32, for an entire square mile. We should also understand that when we're calculating population density, we're really saying that the people are all evenly spread out about the land. That's really how we should interpret these calculations. 32 people per square mile is assuming everyone is all spread out. It really doesn't indicate if we have eight people all grouped up in a corner here and another eight grouped up here. The 32 people per square mile is assuming that people are evenly spaced throughout the land. So we have an average people per area when they're all thought to be evenly spread out. Eight people per this quarter square mile and that balance of crowdedness or density would mean eight people in each of these other quarter square miles. So here's an even distribution of the 32 people per square mile. It was based off of our initial observation of eight people in a quarter of a square mile. Now even if we took all 32 of these people and made them all live in one corner of the land, we would still be looking at a total of 32 people and a total of one square mile. Here is a representation of 32 people per square mile, and this would also be 32 people per square mile. Definitely it looks a lot more crowded, but we also have a lot more wide open space. So we think about if people are evenly distributed throughout the land, that's our population density. Let's hit a few more quick examples. Calculate the population density that we see here. First the area, a half mile by four tenths of a mile. Calculating the area first, multiply half mile by four tenths of a mile. And we get 0.2 square miles. So we're looking at four people 
in 0.2 square miles. Here's our first fraction to represent population density. And now we can divide 4 divided by 0.2 to convert this into a unit rate, people per 1 square mile. We have two equivalent densities. And we know they're equivalent because if we change the fractions into decimals, dividing numerator by denominator, they would both equal 20. Now consider if we look at a larger area. To think about the density, or how crowded it would be if people were evenly spread out in this larger area, first calculate the actual square miles of the larger area. 0.8 times 0.5 equals 0.4 square miles. We still have four people in this area, we just have given them a larger area to spread out into. So the density, still four people, but now they're in a larger area of 0.4 square miles. This gives them more room to spread out, they won't be as crowded, so that when we change this into the unit rate, we see a smaller number, 10 people per square mile. It has become less crowded because there's more area for these people to spread out. And lastly, what if we put a couple people into this larger area? Now still looking at the green area, we have 0.4 square miles. But now we have six people to evenly distribute in this area. So we should see our density increase a little bit because it's going to be a little bit more crowded with two more people in this 0.4 square mile area. And when we calculate the unit rate, we see 15 people per square mile. And just remember, when it comes to population density, we'll always set up a fraction. How many people compared to how much area they're in. And once we set up the fraction, we can find the unit rate by dividing. Numerator divided by denominator.